extra lights. Yeah. That's better. Uh, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is June 1st, so new month, new goals. As I mentioned in my previous video, I have been taking berberine before meals. I have already taken that this morning. I just got back from the gym. I also in the morning take seed symbiotic, which is a prebiotic and probiotic in one. I take that once a day before meals as well. In addition to the berberine before meals and the symbiotic in the morning, I am currently, let me get the book. I'm going to be doing some of the hacks that are mentioned in Jessie in Chassepe, I don't know how to pronounce her name, in her book, The Glucose Goddess Method. Um, I was originally going to gift this to my dad, but I just feel like something that has the word goddess in the title, maybe I could do better. A lot of what this author promotes is taking vinegar before meals because it helps, similar to berberine, reduce that glucose spike that happens after having a meal. I am kind of diving headfirst into this. I'm gonna be aiming to take a tablespoon of this before each meal. I haven't thought through how I'm going to accomplish this when dining out or like going to family or friends places to dine. I'm gonna have to figure something out, be it a flask or who knows. I wanted to start the vlog here on June 1st and document this month as a whole. I will report on any weight loss I see while combining these two tools, we'll call them. Yeah, I am gonna go wash up and then I'm going to make some breakfast. I also wanna self tan before work. Um, so that I can time it and rinse it off during my lunch break today. Entering kind of what would be a short weekend for me because I alternate between just like Sundays off one weekend and then like Saturday, Sunday, Monday off the next, which is usually when I would vlog. But I am taking Monday off to go see a friend before she moves out of the country. I'll probably wrap that into this vlog too. I don't know whether or not I'm gonna include this, but I weighed in at 170.9. That was like a day or two ago. I would say that's probably a good accurate starting point. So we'll see where I land at the end of the month. June 30th, June 29th, June 31st. How many days are in June? I never learned the rhyme. 30. There are 30 days in June. If nothing else, I can journal tonight that that's what I learned today. I'm gonna go ahead and get washed up. We'll take that shot together in a minute. Okay, I know I just said that I was gonna wash up first before eating, but for the sake of time, while I'm in here, let's just go ahead and have some breakfast, get this over with. I wasn't gonna measure this out exactly, but I wanna be by the book this month. This is the part where I stop breathing through my nose. Now the trick is not to add like a lot of water. I have tried doing that before where I'm like, I'll just add like 16 ounces to this tablespoon and it's gonna be fine. The more water you put in there doesn't necessarily dilute the flavor all that much more. It just prolongs how long it takes to actually get it down. So. Cheers. It's so bad. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It just stays with you for like a minute. Oh, the reward is something delicious. It's a little while later. I don't think I look any tanner, but it is what it is. I have put it in a shot glass, the apple cider vinegar. About a tablespoon went up to like mid font here. Rest is water. Three, two, one, three. I can't, I can't. I wonder if a different brand will taste any better. Okay, lunchtime. For all in this, I stand. 
tonight, I forget if I mentioned before, we were originally going to do these meatball parmesan sandwiches, kind of like burger style, for dinner from every plate. But instead we're going to do a tortellini recipe that actually came in last week's box that we just got to get, got to get done, got to get used. Looks like it'll be ready in about 15 minutes. What's great is pretty much it comes with everything you need, um, just except for like the odd egg or butter. But apart from that, it portions out everything you need for like two to four people. I'm gonna take my berberine now, where'd I put my water? There aren't that many left in this container. I do have a handful that I keep in like a vial in my purse for when I'm on the road. I do have my next 90, 90 capsule count bottle ready for next time. So typically with berberine, you're not supposed to just take it continuously without taking a break. I need to look into like why that is. I don't actually have enough information to share on that. What I plan to do is take 90 days worth, like about three months worth of the capsules. So by the time I use the next bottle after this, and then I'll take at least a week off. I need to look into like what the recommended, is it appropriate to call it a tea break? I need to look into what the recommended duration for taking time off of it would be. So I'm gonna make this and then right before eating, I'll do my, my shot of apple cider vinegar and then I'll be done for today. Show me where the ending goes on it. Honestly, don't. I should be the last Okay. Last shot of the day. Hey there it's a few days later it's now the fifth it's been a pretty hectic past few days uh, just a lot of working from home today i have off because i'm gonna go see my friend who is moving out of the country she is driving up from her mom's place in florida i'm driving down from savannah and we're gonna meet up in St. Simon's just to walk around and get some coffee and stuff like that. I'm gonna get to meet her baby. It'll be kind of bittersweet. It's probably been like well over a year at least since I saw her and I haven't met her little girl yet. I am going to just go ahead and sign off here. Because it's been kind of stressful, I have been eating well, but probably a bit too much, just like a lot of emotional eating. I do know that at least with the berberine, that I have like a longer period of time between meals before I'm hungry again. Or if I do eat, it's really more of like an emotional eating need and much less so like I'm actually hungry. So it does do a really good job in curbing like physical hunger, but really the areas to focus on after you kind of level that out, really any sort of overeating is like more emotional and more habitual. The work to be done at that point is more so like stress management and introspection. I'll probably end the vlog here with uh, some clips from today and the trip down to St. Simons. I will probably pick up either later today or a little later in the week on the next vlog and just kind of update on how the berberine is going along with starting Lift Intermediate on the Alive by Whitney app over again. I have just finished it yesterday and the next programs that I could be doing are um, Alive 2.0 or Alive Strong, like the first one of that series. I really kind of got into a groove with, I need to turn on the AC. It is starting to get hot. <laughs> I just wanted it to be nice and quiet for the video, but I don't think it'll be too loud. But, with Lift Intermediate, I was really kind of getting into a groove where, you know, it's a four day split, two lower body, two upper body, like one of them was glutes and hamstrings. Then there was a calves and quads. 
and then there's a, like a pull and a push day for upper body. It really works well. It feels really flexible just to have only like four days that you're going in and you're still seeing progress. Um, so I'm gonna do lift intermediate one more time through, that's eight weeks, and during which I will be focusing on progressive overload. So uh, for anyone who doesn't know what that is, uh, progressive overload is where you periodically push to lift heavier and just kind of maintaining a level of discomfort. Every time a weight becomes easy, you're just continuing to add more weight or maybe more reps and really fatiguing the muscles to a point of failure or almost failure. Here I am trying to wrap up the video and I've started talking more. I'll start my next vlog, like I said, either on the way back up, maybe I'll um, start recording an intro um, just because I kind of feel chatty today and it's a day off and I've done my face. Yeah, anyway, enjoy these next few clips, but otherwise, thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. So I probably only filmed like two or three clips and it was all at the coffee shop before we went to the lighthouse to walk around a bit and then get some froyo. But because we were just talking and having such a good time while we were there, I was so absorbed with what we were doing and I don't regret it at all. I mean, yeah, it would've been nice to have caught more on film, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we're there in the moment. So it was good to get out and do that. I. I'm gonna miss her a lot. That really sucks that she's going so far away. Maybe it's an opportunity to go and uh, visit Japan. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. There's more to come and I look forward to sharing it. Anyway.